eight-yard plays that James Stewart gave him. Third and eight, Mark Brunell. Keenan McCardell. Good tackling. 23-yard touchdown, 14-0. Jaguar. Five possessions. Brunell drops straight back to throw. With protection. Fires over the middle. The catch is made. And the tackle is broken. And there goes McCardell. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Brunell under pressure, turns and heaves, and he's got McCardell at the five. McCardell turns inside. Touchdown. Even McCardell. McCardell set career highs in 2000 in both receptions and yards. Jay Fiedler from Dartmouth trying to help the Jags nail down the AFC Central. Keenan McCardell, touchdown, hit 17-7 at the half. A good-looking play time. Anytime you see a quarterback get that comfortable, you know he's got great blocking. Here you're going to see Damon Shelton, the fullback, quick up to KO Spikes, the blitzing linebacker, and you can see right there, Fiedler had plenty of time to step into that throw. The division title earning the AFC's top spot heading into the playoffs and realizing two of the team's goals. With the Chargers leading 21-20 in the third quarter, Tomlinson added a touchdown pass to his performance. A 26-yard halfback pass to McCarthy. A very important offseason for him. Once the dollars got to be as big as they are, not only does it affect players who are currently in the league, as Breeze is going to go for six and open there of bounds was Keenan McCardell. The back judge comes over. There'll be a conference here. And what he's basically saying is that he did. It looked like they said no. Then it looked like they said yes. He has the ball. That second foot hits. He keeps control. He has to keep control all the way to the ground, which he does. This is a touchdown. One, two, control of the ball. Yeah. And the Chargers they put it up on the board, and that's the reason you hear 70,000 people screaming. And the, flag. the receiver pulled the ball into his chest, and when he had it in his chest, in control, both feet were down. It's a touchdown. As we suggested, 26 yards and the touchdown. Tough to make the highlight rule making a block. That may have something to do with it. <laughs> Third down and six. Johnson pumps and throws. McCardell all alone. Touchdown. Brad Johnson's going to hope that this game never ends. Keenan McCardell, you see him right here. He jumps up inside. Brad lays it out there, and Keenan McCardell, who had a big game. On second and two, Vinny, all play action, Vinny. He looks for McCardell, streaking into the end zone, touchdown. Twenty Seven days later, McCardell caught two more touchdowns. Draw play, play action throw, deep end zone, wide open, touchdown. Keenan and a romp over the Rams. Number Next play, Breeze, a lot of short stuff, and then Keenan McCardell, he had time, Tom. Zip, that's beautiful, 7 nothing. Great job there, looking to safety off. A 29-yard touchdown pass to Keenan McCardell and a Nate Kading field goal gave them a 10 to nothing lead after. That's one to Antonio Gates against the Buffalo Bills. Breeze to Keenan McCardell in the last minute of the first half. 35 to 10 Chargers at the end of the all those unis. That because San Diego jumped back in front 35-10 just before halftime on Breeze's fourth touchdown pass of the half. A 29-yard strike to Keenan McCardell. Let's go. And interesting, he talks to Keenan McCardell. Fourth and ten bucks. Last gas. Just before the two-minute warning. Talk about good pass. How about that one from Dad Johnson to McCardell? Oh, there's offside contact. Touchdown, three down. Three down, throws it toward the end zone. McCardell, in motion. Brunel. Going long for McCardell. Touchdown. If the possession first and 10 of the buck, 32. Test the birdie. Now this one. Not all Vinny. McCardell is wide open. Placement Brown. Vinny gonna put it up. As protection looks, throws deep up the sideline. McCardell wide open. Touchdown, Cleveland Brown. A 32-yard strike. His second of the day. Second of the day for Testa Verde. In your face, Sam White. Testa Verde and Keenan McCardell combined. First down. Seven plays later, Mark Brunell looking deep. Keenan McCardell, butter.
sweet grab, 35-yard touchdown. McCardell's fifth touchdown catch this year. Get that ball to Warren Sapp. You talk about a good catch, Tom. Watch this. Pump, then throw. Johnson. Keenan McCardell, are you kidding me? <laughs> touchdown. And the box. Lead it 21 to 20. And you take, just take a look. We're going to take one more look at this catch. Look at him get the inside position. 17 fourth quarter points. Pressure coming from the outside. Brad pump fake throw through toward the end zone. McCardell. The Panthers are at the five of ten. Third quarter now. Mark Brunel is in trouble. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Takes a terrible shot. Gets it off anyway. Keenan McCardle, touchdown. After making the two point conversion, Jags up 27 20. Tom Brunel standing in the pocket. Has time. He's going to run out. He's on the run to his left. Throwing down. Field. Pump fake. Now turns and throws. He's hit as he throws. He's got Keenan all the way. Keenan makes the catch in the 10. The game breaking touch. See if he can get deep. Now looks long downfield for Keenan McCardell. McCardell's got the ball. 10, 5, touchdown, Jacksonville. Goss, he's number 20 here. He's just reading, reading, playing zone. The ball goes over the head of Dilger. Goss is there to catch it. And then it looks like as he's going down, he gets hit. He didn't get hit on the ball running, but he got hit. The ball just flopped out, and there's Keenan McCardell. John Wade, the center was the man who was ready to make the tackle, 76, right here. John Wade comes across the body. Oh, he did punch it out. Look at that. He got his right hand in there and punched it out of Mike Dawson's hand. That is a heads-up play by about three guys right there. To run down Michael Pittman. That's pretty doggone good. All-stop shift. Brad Johnson being rushed and hit as he throws. He's got a man. It's Keenan McCardell down the sideline. And he goes to the end zone. Touchdown. 65-yard pass from Brad Johnson to Keenan McCardell. And what a pass by Johnson as he was smacked as he threw. The Bengals forgot all about Keenan McCardell. Wide open receiver down the left side is Keenan McCardell, and he is going in. They want an old Florida. Can we get a count the votes, please? Mark Brunel. This are the Jaguars that we remember, Tom. Brunel to Keenan McCardell, wide open, 67 yards, 21-7 Jags, late second. Brunel, therefore, Jamie Mart from Weber State. Look at this throw to Keenan McCardell. Where do these Jaguars keep bringing up these quarterbacks? Seven nine. From the 26-yard line, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers begin their second drive with a play-action pass. If Johnson can get it off, which he does. And out in front making the catch is Keenan McCardell for a touchdown. Johnson got hit. Rob Morris hit him at 74 yards as he got by the secondary. And the Buccaneers take the lead. The key to this, Al, is the protection because Brad Johnson goes play fast and watch him pump. Step, pump, step, pump, 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 and finally get it off. When you give any quarterback that much time, then these receivers can do this thing that Keenan McCardell is. He stops the battle. Brad Johnson has so much time back there, he finally sees him open. Let him get it. Uh -huh. Picks the pylon. Meanwhile, Brad Johnson and Keenan McCardell, and they get the field, they're going to kick the Niners. A 75 yard touchdown, and we're tied at seven in the first. Zach Bronson went for it, Tom didn't get it. Here's the snap, they run a stunt. Brad's got time, the runners throws it down the long, intended for caught from a tight off sideline 30, 25, 20. Nobody's Atlanta didn't allow it. Johnson goes deep. Catch by McCardell. He stays in bounds and he's going all the way. 